Hey guys, this is Maker of Beauty. I'm starting um, a live video on how to do my poinsettias. It's gonna take me a few minutes to share the links at the groups that I want to share. And once I do that, I'm gonna start on the tutorial. So if you joined already, just bear with me a couple of minutes. Takes a while for everything to get going. And I want to make sure that I am live. I am. Okay. So here's my live video. <clears throat> okay. Good. So let me share. <clears throat> Just bear with me. I will start shortly. I just have one more group to share it with and then I will be all yours as I say. I kind of wish that I had four hands so I could uh, start the presentation as well as uh, <clears throat> do other things on a laptop. It definitely takes the time. Okay, well, this is as good as it gets, and I'm going to jump on and start with my presentation. Okay, <clears throat> if you're just joining me, hello and welcome. I'm Maker of the Beauty. I um, specialize in uh, um, designing the paper flower templates. I use a software called Gravit Designer. I either use a pen tool to um, make my templates or use the shapes. And uh, from time to time, I actually do like tutorials on how to put the flowers together. So I currently offer a holiday package for the Christmas holiday, which includes seven different templates for poinsettias. They are, <clears throat> some of them are, you know, have uh, like leg extensions, uh, the way this flower has, and some of them you know shape differently but in total you get seven of them in addition to that you will also get two what i call layered flower template and one of them has six petals that's it's not exactly like poinsettia shape you know it's more of a um something that you can work with to create a beautiful christmas flower and i'll show you how and then uh, the other one is more of a you know classic poinsettia shape so that's what you get in a package. 
and um, it's already up and available in my Etsy shop. I will put up the link to it later on. And uh, what I'm doing right now is to show you how you can style the flowers. Um, I've already had done some prep, but I also left some out. So, you know, Pansetia flower is not like a very full flower, or as it's full, but it has a lot of uh, real estate space in between of it. And uh, it's also got like a lot of veins, right? So, um, you know, the, you want to replicate the real flower as much as possible. So with that in mind, we will put at least one big vein in the middle. You can either use your scoring tool if you like, but that will leave, you know, quite a sharp one. And if you're going for the sharp one, you know, definitely do that. The other way is uh, my preferred method is just bend the flower in the middle. You know, you match side by side and just gently press it in the middle. Now, you know, the flower is pretty open itself, so I'm gonna open up this way. You also could, if you wanted to, I didn't do it, so I'm not gonna do it, but I'm just gonna talk about it. Um, you know, you could also give it like a very nice, gentle uh, curl, like on the very edges. There's definitely room to do that. But since I haven't done this to other petals, I'm not gonna start that right now. Now, the flower is pretty flat, right? So you wanna make sure that your um, slit is pretty long to make sure that it lays pretty flat. So I'm just going to do it up to here. So I'm going to open it up just a little bit more. And I'm just going to <clears throat> glue the edge one over the other. You don't need much of a glue because of the um, edges. And uh, it's going into this pile because I have several different piles of the leaves. And by the way, I don't normally talk like this. My voice is not this rough sounding. My um, husband got sick and then kids got sick and then I got sick and now I sound funny. Okay, so I have my flowers uh, ready. What I want to point it out is that um, specifically for this flower, I am doing three layers, but my large and my medium layer are exactly same size. And then my last layer, I had reduced it for about an inch. And uh, if you're someone who's familiar with my work, then you probably know that I'm pretty uh, you know, I, I, I love using one size petal as much as possible. Okay, I'm gonna move this mat away because I don't want any glue on this. And uh, my large and medium size is uh, about 5.25 inches in the height. And my circle is uh, almost uh, six inches, give or take. Now, normally, <clears throat> if I had six petals to work with, right, I would start by gluing it petal against the petal, but that's not the case here. I'm only doing five petal per layer. And so with that in mind, you know, to help myself like visually to make sure that I'm positioning them just right, I'm going to first put them. And by the way, I'm missing one petal. I'm gonna have to look for it later. Um, uh, you know, I'm gonna put them just to make sure that everything is aligning just so and I have enough of the uh, real estate space. Any okay, case, so this looks pretty proportionate to me and now I'm just gonna start gluing them on. So a generous dab of a glue. It's clear that I need to get another. And there I have my first petal. And I'm just gonna probably let it sit exactly how it is. Here's my second one. <clears throat> oh, I definitely need a bit more of a glue. I'm starting to run out of it. Okay, let me pause here for a second and see if anybody asking me questions.
Okay, I don't see that there are any questions, so I'm just gonna keep on going. Any case, so I'm finishing it up, um, gluing the rest of the petals. Um, on this one, I'm probably gonna go back and give it a little bit more of a glue because while I pressed it, I didn't um, press it hard enough and it's kind of sticking out a little funny. So this one is gonna go in here and that one is going to go in there. Okay. So the reason I suggest that you lay it out first is because you know it's harder to work with the odd number of petals. And so just to make sure that visually you're doing the right um, layering you know if you have it laid out first it will just help you to keep everything straight okay that's the last one. Oof, the glue is hot it's hot and it's burning my fingers but no pain no gain all right <clears throat> so the next layer is going to be a little bit easier because everything is already laid out for me. Okay, and I do have five layers off. I saw that my mask is um, all off. And so with this one, right, it's just the usual of where you do the layers right in between the two petals. Um, and, uh, you know, you don't need to worry about, you know, like doing the tucking in or anything because of how the layer, because of how the petal is shaped right you're just going to basically going to be touching it at the end of the legs kind of like this so without any further ado i'm going to start gluing it so i'm just going to give it a the generous dab right in here and put it right smack in between when you put it in between right make sure that the pointy end of what is supposed to be your medium petal is not on the same height as your large like that's one of the things that you can easily end up doing when you are using one size petal for several different layers so just remember bring it in a little bit lower that's what um you know allows you to trick and you know treat as if this one is a smaller petal okay so i'm just gonna keep on going And then I just have three more to put it in. And by the way, as you guys watch it, if you are watching it, you know, if you have any questions, uh, whether it's about the paper, about the style, any, you know, technical questions, I mean, whatever, products, um, you know, don't be shy, just ask away. I, you know, I'd like it to be as interactive as possible. All right, so, ah, oi. That's one of the issues with uh, having leg extensions for the end of the petal. You get your glue burn you so much more frequent. All right, and here's my last one. Um, you know, if you guys do want it to be tucked in, you certainly can, you don't have to. Um, you know, one of the things that you could do is just lift this up a little bit more so it's, um, you know, not touching as much. And it's going to go right in here. So another generous dab of glue on the back. And right between here. Okay. So now that I have this done, there are several things, right, that you could happen. Um, you know, you could definitely just stop it like right here and uh, use this as a centerpiece and put that in here. That would look lovely. You can take the gold one. I don't know if I have the gold one in the right size. Um, I don't, well, some I, some I do, right? I could probably put the red and a gold together. You could stop it uh, and, you know, just do two layers and use one of the centers. Um, or 
you could do, what I'm going to end up doing, is to add one more center, which I'm gonna do right in here. And this one, it's gonna be um, glued in between the medium, the second layer in between the petals. And then I'm gonna add my center. And I am going to do gold for the center because I think it just brings out so much more color and it makes it very festive. Uh, my reduction between the petals in this case is exactly one inch. So this was 5.25 and uh, the small one that I'm using was 4.25. I tend to like to work with a uh, um, precise numbers, right? Like uh, I get confused when it's a 4.24. It's just easier for me to keep it straight in my head. Okay. Yeah. Definitely a lot of a uh, finger burning today. But it is what it is. So let's um, put this one in here. All right. And I have to tell you guys, like this flower is actually pretty good return on your investment in terms of the paper. Um, you know, I literally only needed, I think like three sheets to get this size, which is pretty generous. So here's my last one. Okay, and so here's my gold centers. And uh, that's exactly what I'm putting it in there, you know, to give it a bit of a pop and uh, to give it a bit more of, a, um, you know, something. So I'm gonna take this, like that. And there it is. <clears throat> the first Ponsetti is ready. Right there for you guys to see it. Hey, I'm gonna put this aside and I'm gonna kinda switch over to uh, building the second one. So the second one, I'm gonna handle it slightly different because I do wanna show you guys that, you know, there is no like one size fits all. You can get very creative and you can do many different things um, you know like even with that flower alone like I said you know you could have curled the edges of it a little bit to the side like that would give it like one look <coughs> apologies for coughing or for example you know like you could add it uh, you know uh, veins to it so for example as I have done with this one if you can see it Another thing with the veins, right, what you could have done is to make them like to look a little bit more standing up, right? You could have flipped this petal this way because you can see, you know, it's like the petals here are a bit more of like standing up and you could have glued it, um, the petal in reverse, right? And that would give you a completely different look like right there. So there are many, many different ways of doing things. So I'm going to show you how I did this one. So I gave the middle of it by folding the petal in two, which I'm doing right now. So just, you know, one side touching the other side. It's a perfectly proportionate petal. And so um, this is going to just be pretty precise, right? Uh, with that said, let me point it out to you guys that one of the petals in my package is on purpose done not perfectly precise, you know, from a side to side. This is just to replicate that, you know, the flowers are not perfect. Oh, let me uh, finish up with this one. Right, so after I finish the, uh, you know, putting like the middle of it, then just take my scoring tool and uh, add some uh, veins to it right and uh, it doesn't matter like from where you guys start you just need to make sure that you're consistent 
so if you are you know like doing it from a top from this point to here just make sure you do the same thing for all of them so I did it this way and so I'm just gonna finish it up for this petal as well and so you know that just gives it like a little bit more of a depth um, let me put a slit like I said you know you do need to have a pretty long slit to give it flat what I want what, what I was telling you early is that you know you can flip it this way and glue it like that uh, I don't really want to break it okay okay and so you can see that the look is very different from this one I'm gonna put it side to side and bring it like a little bit closer to the so that just to show you that you know um, it's a the, the same idea but you make an adjustment this way and that way and uh, it'll make it'll give you a completely different look at the end this is just my way of encouraging you to try to be um, creative in when you styling flowers all right so <clears throat> with this particular petal I'm still doing five petals per each layer, but I do have more of a traditional, the large, medium, and small. And, um, you know, each one of them is five. And so because I'm doing it, you know, um, the large, medium, and small, I don't need as big of a base as this one you know just the three inches alone would be enough but i'm still going to do the same as before and i'm going to put the petals out first and then i'm going to glue them to my center okay by the way in case if you guys are wondering you know could you just glue this by whole by um you know gluing it by the leg extension you could you know you definitely can you just need to bear in mind that it's probably going to be a pretty tight flower you know if and if that's your intention that's fine and uh you know i mean personally if i was making something like that's tight then i would probably only do one layer and then i would just do the center and i think i might be sneezing and i apologize about that okay um, so this looks pretty proportionate to me and I'm just gonna start gluing it on oops and I just moved everything let me bring it back into focus okay that's one you know another thing is guys uh, you know to use the um, um, the I, I don't I, I always forget the, the names of the all the grams it's like the the star shape right that you have five ends um, instead of using the circle I prefer to work with a circle and so I find the way of what I can do to keep everything put on it um, proportionately but one of the things that you know you could do would be to use the like a star shape base with five ends and that would help you to know where you need to be putting your petals on because you would have the five um the star to guide you so to speak and uh, for the subsequent petals you know it's much easier because you already have your first layer put down um because for the subsequent ones you just you know for most of the times you put it right in between the petals so you don't have to do the um, circle it's just that's my preferred method okay so that's glued on let me just hold it so it has chance to adhere and stay strong all right so this, the next layer is going to be coming like right in between this two. Um, I wanted to have it a pretty drastic look and so my reduction between the petals was exactly one inch. 
Um, give me one second. Somebody's asking me something. Um, Anna, I don't speak uh, Spanish. If you could maybe go to the uh, Google Translate and uh, have your questions translated and posted in English, then I'd be able to answer it for you. I apologize. I could answer it to you in Russian, and I could even understand Hebrew, but Spanish, unfortunately, is not the language that I know. Okay, so here's my medium. Just continuing on, guys, right, like right in between the um, petals. And you still don't need to be worried about, you know, like anything being tucked in. Um, the tucking is really most of the times happens is that when your petal does not have the leg extension base or it's much fatter in the slope of the line, which is not the case here at all. Although we might have to do some tucking in with the very last layer, but I, I sincerely doubt it. So that's the fifth one. And by the way, guys, you know, you certainly do not have to do the five petals. You can absolutely do the six petal as well. Um, you know, that's just, uh, I rarely get a chance to do anything with five petals. And so I jumped on the opportunity. Okay. And then here's the last one that is being put right in the middle between uh, the two. By the way, I wanted to tell you that, you know, at this point you could also stop and use one of the layered ones, you know, um, just put it in as a last center by itself if you wanted to. That would also look beautiful and maybe just do like the red one first and then the gold, you know, like on the top of it just to give it that, that pop. But uh, since I have the petals and my plan was all along to do the three layers, I'm gonna finish it up with the three layers. But, you know, bringing this up because I want you guys to have options. Okay, let me get rid of all this glue strings. This is pretty stringy. Um, my preferred glue sticks are uh, Gorilla because they do such a good job holding the paper down no matter the weight. Okay, just two more to go and we're gonna be almost done. And as I said, you know, we don't need to do, we don't need to be doing any type of the uh, tucking in at all. Okay, so that's done. And I'm just gonna grab one of my gold centers. Just need to see which one. Okay, I think this is gonna be a great size. <coughs> I apologize for the coughing, guys. I'm trying to contain it as much as I can. Hey, right, so, <clears throat> um, you know, I don't want it to be completely flat. It wouldn't look seemingly. So I'm going to bring in my mat, my tool, and just gently, you know, um, the round motions right in the center to lift the paper up a little bit. And now it's gonna, oh, just burn myself on the, um, a little bit. And now it's gonna go in in the center, just beautiful. So a bit of a glue. In the middle. Hold it with my, maybe actually hold it with this. So I stopped burning myself so much. All right guys, and here's our second poinsettia. So um, I'm gonna bring both of them, you know, side by side to show you. This is just the two petals and uh, uh, mom, 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 let me see. Uh, you know what I should have done guys like I should have uh, sh done it like side by side to show you the differences 
but since I already glued everything, I'm just going to talk to you about the differences. So the difference is that, you know, this one has uh, um, two, uh, you know, sticking out points. Like, here we go, like one and two. And on that one, we have three. So, you know, it's a little bit more round and uh, it becomes like more sharper on the top. And then the other petals, um, you know, some of them are more of a, like a classic poinsettia look where it's just, you know, like one sticking out point and uh, everything else in between. Like I said, it's seven different templates all put in together in one package deal. Okay, so I'm done with doing the, uh... oh, sure. Hi, uh, Nikki. Uh, yes, uh, that's a good question. It is the uh, McGill tool and it's absolutely wonderful. And uh, now you're gonna, um, I'm, I'm starting to do my layered flowers and you will see how it actually comes in place. Uh, oh, hi, Gloria. Long time no girl, how's the sun in the world? Okay, give me one minute, uh, Nikki. I'm gonna get you that information. Uh, it's a flower curling kit. Um, here's my link, bear with me. All right, well, guys, Gloria just made my day. I'm gonna take a detour and quickly tell you that during my daytime job, I work as a healthcare analyst and uh, Gloria and I used to work on the same project back in Seattle about five years ago. And it was really glorious time in my life. Okay, so now I wanna talk to you about the uh, two layered petals that you are getting as part of my package. Um, so one of them is five uh, petals and the other one is six petals. And I'm gonna show you several different ways uh, what you can do with it. Nikki, you're welcome. If you have any questions, just keep on posting them. Okay, so with the five uh, petal, right, I think it's definitely a great one to use for the center. I mean, both of them were created it was in, in mind, you know, to use it for the center, but with that said, you can still make flowers out of them as well. So that's exactly what I did for these two flowers. I used this as a center. And by the way, if you guys are wondering what color of the pet the, of the paper this, this is a metallic uh, by reflection that uh, you buy at Michael's. They never sell it as a package deal. It's always the individual sheets 12 by 12 and uh, one thing to bear in mind is that it's one color only on one side the bottom of it is plain so be very careful you know it would be very difficult to make a full flower with this but it works absolutely wonderful for small layered flowers or centerpieces uh, because with the center is right like you never see the bottom okay so one of the ways to uh, um, to do more flowers with the centers is to you know gently curl the edges, or if you don't want to curl the edges, you know you can absolutely leave them as is. Um, you guys will see that the leaves are not exact, and that is done on purpose, uh, you know, to replicate again like the real flower that would never be as perfect as some of my flowers are, they're very symmetrical. Um, you know, so one of the ways to do it is to just gently lift up the flower by circling in the middle and then taking the second one. If you wanna stack it up and make it fuller, you certainly can. Uh, you know, make sure that you're grabbing something that is a smaller size. I would reduce it uh, because it's poinsettia and it tends to have like a pretty drastic reduction between the petals. I would reduce it by at least half an inch, if not more. Um, okay. So I'm just giving it a gentle curl and now I'm going to lift this one up too, but this one I'm gonna lift up a little bit more. Okay, and I'm just gonna stack it right in between the two of this. Uh, 
Um, you can keep on going and give it another layer. Uh, you know, I'm gonna stop in here and I'm going to, uh, you know, move on to the center. I definitely recommend, you know, like to do the two colors. To do all this in one red, it just would be a little bit too much. I think mixing it with some other um, color, you know, either like silver would be beautiful or gold. I mean, you can never go wrong with gold. That would be just absolutely stunning. Okay, so there we have it in here. Uh, by the way, guys, you know, if you're somebody who is familiar with my work, um, you know, uh, I personally love using layered flowers like this as a centers for the bigger flowers. So one of the things you could have done was to only do two layers, right? Like not have this layer at all, stop at that point and use this as a center and it would be just absolutely beautiful. Again, bringing this up just to give you a, you know, the, just to help you to understand that you have choices. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to um, what you can do with, uh, with a six petal. So the six petal was absolutely meant to be as a center and as a result of it, as you can see it, right, the middle of it um, is pretty wide open. However, you know, like once I cut it, I was like, oh, it's such a pretty one and I love, 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 love small layer flowers. So I'm gonna treat it as a small layer flower. And uh, <clears throat> if I was going to use, treat it, uh, you know, if right off the bat, I knew that I'm going to treat it as a small layered flower instead of the center, I would have taking circle, put the circle on here and make it thicker center because what I have right now is a little bit thin. So that's just something for you guys to keep in mind that uh, this one is designed to be specifically center and as such, you know, the middle of it is pretty small. But if you want to turn it into a flower, which is what I'm going to do right now, then make sure you make the center a little bit thicker. Okay. And so um, the way I'm styling it is, you know, I just curled both of the pet all of the petals downwards and then um, I curled it with my bone knife. You don't have to use a bone knife. You could have just taken the glue stick and use a glue stick to gently, you know, like curl it down, whichever way it works for you. Thank you, Gloria. I'm impressed with my own work sometimes too. I did not know that I had it in me. Hey, and uh, the reason why you want uh, to have a thicker middle is that when you are trying to raise flower, it's just so much easier to do that when you have a thicker center. So that's why, you know, make sure you pull in circle and weld it in a, um, in a design space. Right. So this is just going to go right in between. A bit dab of a glue. I'm going to get that off the mat because I don't want it to glue it on my mat. And uh, putting it right in the middle. Um, I don't want to get hurt by the glue again. So I'm just going to use this. Um, in case you guys haven't noticed, you know, the first two layers are the same size and uh, it's perfectly fine to use the same size um, because, you know, the very first one is always ends up being pretty flat and the second one, you know, gets reduced because you lift up the paper and so that takes away from the size of it and, uh, you know, it behaves as if it's been reduced, uh, but you really don't have to reduce right off the bat. Okay, but this one is definitely a smaller petal. You can see it right there. So same thing again. We're gonna make it stand up and then a dab of a glue and put it right in the middle. Uh, you know, use your hands to uh, get the petal in a position and just hold it in one place to make sure that it gets glued on exactly where you want it to get glued on. Hey, you could stop in here. Um, you know, what you could do is to maybe have um, a gold um, pearl 
put it in here you know like that would look beautiful just a, a white pearl by itself would be looking good you can take sm small styrofoam balls you know use mod podge glitter them up put it in here or you could also have like one small of this ones right and force that in as well so um the only thing is that i'm gonna have to really really raise it and i do want to curl up the edges of it a little bit to stay consistent because the rest of the flower is pretty curled so i don't want this to all of a sudden look so sharp And so that's gonna go in the middle in here um, so I'm just gonna put a dab of a glue and because I'm starting to run out of the real estate space I'm going to gently okay so that looks about right to me and I'm gonna oops see it's moving away and I need to hurry up because the glue is always will get okay got it and now that it's firmly in place, you know, I can like press it down to really. Oh, hi, Jaya. Welcome. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so there you guys have it. A beautiful flower to, you know, offset the uh, straight poncetias a little bit. So I just wanted to show you that again. All right, and then. Um, just have two uh, two more ways to show you how to do the uh, um, what else you can do so then you can um, style the same flower let me just make sure that I have enough I do okay and um, to make things go a little bit faster we're actually going to stagger them Okay, so what we're gonna do, guys, is that it's gonna be what I call one up, one down, right? Um, <clears throat> the first petal you curl up, the second petal you curl down. And it's much easier to do that by using the glue stick, which is what exactly I'm doing. And to save myself on time, I'm just stacking them up. They are all the same size. So it will absolutely work. So this one is going to go down. Okay. I'm just going to give it a little bit more of a tight curl. But... Um, the based one right i'm still going to curl everything downward um, on both sides um, all around and the reason to that is you know you wanted to have it as much of a lift as possible kind of like this right because um that's what's going to give the height to your flower if i was to make this you know like one down uh, one up one down right off the bed it's just so much harder to put the next subsequent petal on it that's just something that i had learned from um experience of like doing this that uh, it's best if the first one is just all down and gives you the platform to build on by the way, you could absolutely use a glue stick if you want to. Um, I'm just doing, I prefer to do it with the, on a larger petals with my bone knife because I think, I feel it gives more of a curve. Okay, <clears throat> so now that I have that done, I'm gonna get this. And so this is just gonna go right in the middle, same as always. You wanna put it in, in between the petals. In the center, um, you know, don't go in with your fingers because you will get burned. So just use something. 
uh, chapsticks actually you know like do a great job in this case to um, to keep the paper in 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 place without uh, burning your fingers All right I need my mat back so just curl it in the middle to lift it up and then it goes right in the center in between the petals um i like to i have I, I like full flowers and so i'm gonna do it another layer in here but you could definitely stop as well and instead of the uh, doing it, you know, one more layer, you, um, um, you know, put something else in the center or just leave it just like by itself like that too. That's perfectly fine. But because I am running out of a real estate space, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a tighter curl and I'm going to use my own fingers. So I'm just going to gently sort of put one side over the other, but just try to go careful because what you don't want is you don't want to have thick lines of a uh, bent pa paper okay I'm almost done All right, and now I'm gonna try to lift this up. And as you guys can see, it right, it's pretty flimsy in the center, and that's why, um, you know, I and originally cut it out of as a whole intent of using it as a, a center. <clears throat> but in any case, a dab of a glue. Um, careful with the strings. Make sure you don't lift any. It goes right in the middle. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Put something else in the middle to keep it. And there you guys have it. A very, 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 very full flower, which is absolutely my favorite. Okay, so with that, uh, uh, it concludes my tutorial. I had shown you everything that I had planned to show today. Uh, let me clear out my working area and actually put all of the flowers together. So you can see what you'll be able to get out of my package. Um, <coughs> if you guys have any questions, you know, just comment later on the video. I am pretty. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm pretty. Um, I keep up with my social media accounts. So any questions, you know, just post them. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And you're always free to, you know, email it to me or uh, ping me on a Facebook. And um, uh, with that said, thank you so much. Happy holidays, and uh, I hope you consider buying my package. All the best, bye.